importing AGR into the Blender easy peasy tutorial. First you're going to want to open BSP source, the links for everything in this video will be in the description. Check the extract embedded files folder, click add and navigate to your CSGO directory. This will be Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Counter-Strike, CSGO and then Maps. This is where all your maps are kept, you want to uh, convert it to a .vmf. I find our map, just click on it and click open. Now just click to de click decompile, select the folder that you want to decompile it in, and it'll do it in a few seconds. Now when that's done, we're gonna want to go over to Blender, click on edit to preferences add-ons, and we're gonna click on install on the top right, and just select all the uh, .zip files in the description all the plugins will be down there are uh, easily labeled click the checkbox next to them when you're done now when you get to the uh, vmf import uh, script you are going to want to go there click the little plus button detect games and navigate to your C uh, csgo folder again this will be the same from before Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Counter Strike, CSGO, and Maps. It's not no maps, just CSGO. <laughs> Let's click exit out of that, and we can open up our system, our Blender console. See how the imports are going. See the percentages in there. Now we go to import, Valve Map File, dot VMF. Go to where we extracted that file to before. Select our Counter Strike Global Offensive option. We can change our sky resolution to 2070, uh, and then just click import. This will take a little bit. Let's just skip over there. Check that your map works. Check all the textures and the materials and the objects. See if they've all imported correctly. Looks all right here. Just go around a bit. Uh, yep, now that's working. Uh, we're going to record the AGR. We're going to open up HLA and start CSGO with a dash in insecure tag. Once, that's, uh, once we've launched our demo that we recorded previously, we are going to press Shift plus F2 to open up that little tab, which we can pause and resume our demo with. Now we're just copy and pasting in all the uh, commands. This will change our frame rate and the descriptions for those will be in the, down in the description, what they do and what the effect, but these are just the basic uh, options that you should do. And we'll run the start command, and we will start the demo. Recording. It'll go very fast, so watch out for that for our small clips. Get the end command ready, and when it's finished, we will end. Next, going back to Blender, click import, import AGR. Uh, you can use AGR advanced scripts, which is what I'm using here. It will automatically import all the materials. It is a little bit unstable though, so I'd watch out for that. Choose our game definition. And then select where our recording was saved to, which will be our CSGO folder again. And then untitled underscore record. And then the most recent one. Just double click it. And then once it's imported, we'll create an empty for all our characters to sit in. Rename it to whatever you want. I just renamed it to characters because it's easy. Select all the characters and the cameras. And just drag and drop them onto the characters while holding shift. Make sure they're all in the right place. Uh, rotate them on the Z axis by negative 90. See if they're all in the right spot. If they are not, move them accordingly. I just move my, uh, I normally base it on the enemy characters or my AFX cam. Uh, move it to around the right spot. Select your camera, go view cameras, and then set av active object as camera. Camera. This will sort of make your uh, camera as the main camera for your scene. See if it's in the right spot. I uh, scroll through the playhead. It does not look like it's in the right spot at all. 
So, I, go, I scroll back out, look at the empty, and then move it into the right spot again. It's all about just fiddling with your character a bit, making sure they're all in the right spots. Remember to use your empty as the uh, thing to move it with. I go over here, I see it's cliffing into the left wall there a little bit, so I move my whole empty to the right a little bit. I go back to my camera to just make sure it's all in the right spot. I'd recommend going into the description and looking at the video to improve frame rate uh, with on your animations to make it a lot easier to move around with. It looks alright here. Now we're going to check our frame rate, make sure it's a good old 25 or whatever you uh, exported your animation as. Now just another tip, we can select our AFX cam, right click on the uh, the keyframes right here, click clear, key, clear keyframes for the focal length, and then we can just edit it as we wish, and it will edit it for the whole thing. Remember to clear the keyframes though, and edit whatever else we want with the same method. Um, that's just about the end of the video. Thank you for watching. You can see some of our projects here um, Hope it didn't I hope it helped don't hesitate to join our discord We'll help all the time with most questions. I recommend you watch the video on the description to get better frames in your editor Thank you for watching